Hello everyone. Now we are going to see another theorem from your chapter 7 of class 9 syllabus, uh, theorem 7.3. The sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle are equal. That means what we have to prove is that the sides opposite to the equal angles of a triangle. That means you have to prove that sides opposite to the equal angles of a triangle. This equal angle, say for example this angle, angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Okay? Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and you have to prove that the, the side, this particular side, angle opposite to the equal side, that means uh, angle opposite to the uh, sides opposite to the equal angle, sides opposite to the equal angle, this particular side which is opposite to the equal angle, that means 1 and 2, this particular side, A, B, C, if it is a triangle, then this particular side and this particular side, you have to prove that they are equal provided angle B and angle C are equal. So, what we have to do? To prove that, we have to do one construction. We have to draw angle bisector from angle A, A. That means this particular angle 3 is equal to 4. Is that clear? Okay. So, let us see now. So, first will be restatement. Restatement. So, what we will write? Sides opposite to the equal angles of a triangle are equal. Okay. ABC is a triangle where angle B is equal to angle C. That is, angle 1 is equal to angle 2. This particular part is given. Isn't it? Next, proof. Oh, sorry, it will be required to prove. Required to prove. Okay. So, what we need to prove? We need to prove that AB is equal to AC. Is it not? Now, construction. What we have constructed? AD is drawn angle by sector on the angle A. Okay, which means 3 is equal to 4. You can write here, which means angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Okay. Now next comes the proof. Next comes the proof. Okay. In triangle, in triangle ABD and triangle ACD, comma. What we have? We have angle one is equal to angle two. It is given. Is it not? Then angle 3 is equal to angle 4 that we have got by construction. By construction, then AD is common. Isn't it? Now by this angle angle side, both the triangles are congruent. That means triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD by side sorry angle angle side isn't it so with this what do we get we get hence what we can say uh, AB is equal to AC CPCP isn't it so, at down what you will write, therefore, sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle are equal. Is that clear? Note it down. 